It will happen at some point, I promise. I really do. Put Mickey on the TV. I don't have the remote. I don't even know it's the remote. That's the problem. Actually, that would be pretty cool, no? Having Mickey on the TV somewhere. Shit, I don't have the remote. I wish I could put Mickey on TV. That would be nice. Oh, look at that! Harald Bladtent. Nick, mm, thank you so much for two months. Don't ban Camille. But that means, oh wait, does he want, like, he, maybe he wants to play against Camille with his Pantheon. Maybe play the ish jungle. We are the assassin crew, me and Cups. I, the, the draft is probably not like the perfect because of it, but we are the assassin crew. Is 3G2 members in the team? Oh, because it's G2 Academy as well. Okay, so he has his matchup. The problem is, Tabis are actually good against Kha'Zix and Pantheon. So I didn't really think my pick through. But I didn't really know what to pick anyway, so I just picked this champ. Maybe I can play Uder actually. I can pick Uder. Hmm, I didn't think it through. I wanna play Uder. Maybe I'll play Uder next game. Do you want me to see play Uder? Why play Uder? France and Linux, thank you. Can I play Uder this game, I guess? Wouldn't be that bad. Oh, is so annoying. Okay, we can make it. We can do it. Why is Kazik comp not viable? Because uh, he's just so bad at the grouping and 5v5, and you know, there's too much 5v5 meta. And also, he's not very strong early game. Don't you also think that Diego needs a cooldown for possessing? I'm not sure if he needs a cooldown for possessing, I just think he shouldn't be. Um, immune while possessing someone. The fact that he gets immune while possessing people, I mean, I guess it shouldn't be instant, but at the same time, him being immune is so weird because people just like, I know, they just go immune and then you cannot kill them and then they just like, <gasps> don't care, sorry. <laughs> don't mention the fact that I just... Yeah, boy. What? How? Oh, I'm so sweaty. It's so hot in here, or is it just me? I am sorry for not helping, but I don't think I can. Uh, this is pretty hard, right? This is so good, man. This is so good. Okay, this is a bit hard. The ice is right here, and we don't have it right now. Okay, okay. I mean, we, we need Kaisa to. Oh, wait, I can't ping anymore. Kaisa, maybe? No? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Run, run, run for a bit. Just, just a little bit. Don't have to be scared, Kaisa. Just a little bit of kiting. That will do you good, you know. You're doing a little bit of kiting, it will do you good. Okay, I don't really wanna go in too deep here. Wait, someone just died, top lane? Oh shit. Yeah. Well, enemy. So he said don't ban Camille, but now he's losing. So most likely, enemy top lane will actually snowball on him. Like, I, I can see enemy top lane being actually very ultra fast in this game. I think it will happen. Uh...
My W was crucial because my W makes it low enough. Maybe I could go Dusk Blade actually. I mean, Dusk Blade is not bad because it's Dusk Blade, but Eclipse is also not bad because it's Eclipse. I don't actually know what is better in this game. Because I feel like Dusk Blade invisibility is not that useful sometimes, like actually quite often. That is uh, Oriana TV. Caps is so good. Caps is so cocky. But he played very well. I mean, he, he, he was not that cocky, he just played well. Like, he didn't panic E, you know. He was just waiting for like them to use their skills at first. Because Oriana had a good prediction in her head. Good fight, I guess. I got kicked in the face, man. I got kicked in the face. That was a good... That, oh. Okay, this Pantheon is like not very good. And also they are like pretty fed right now, so that doesn't help as well. Ooh, the Kai's a few damage though. Or maybe was it Kraken Slayer? I actually don't know what was it, but it was a lot of damage. That was a nice try. He had ult right, so if he actually gets a stun off there, he can ult out. Okay, um, let's just uh, to go top side, slowly get it built towards that edge of the night. That was a bad start, uh, bad Drake start, because, well, they knew about me, so that was uh, a bad Drake start. Oh shit. That helps. But this guy is the two, I think. Easy doesn't really have to use his Q, you can just wait for his keep. As well played anyway by Echo. It doesn't seem like he's getting out really though. So a lot of people coming bot lane. And Lady Cat is DC, so we are not getting anything on the map. At least Lady Cat could, flying, uh, could farm a little bit, but like he's not even farming a little bit. <laughs> Cavs is, <laughs> Cavs is pressing FF. I got hit by a Q, I should have flashed the Q. But I mean, this game, I think, I think it's like at this point it's very hard because, you know, it's again 5v4, right? I mean, even though Ariane wasn't there, so this was like 4v4, then I don't think our champs are that strong and also like just playing the map without one person is so hard. I would maybe like to go Executioner in this game. Maybe not. I'm up to a fair next FF though. I don't think we can win without a care. I will not report him though because there is a high chance. Um... High chance that he just dc it, and he didn't actually want to leave the game, but he just kind of dc it.
Wait, did they... Hey, 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 hey. That was unfair. Oh, but Gale Force as well? <sighs> Worth it. I guess, you know, running. That's no, not a bad guess, but like... I mean, Camille will have to deal with the wall, right? But it's still nice ping, so... I don't like the no Camille ban idea at all, I have to say. Maybe it's because of my champion, maybe like with AP champion it would be slightly easier, but I don't like the idea of not banning Camille playing Pantheon and being absolutely useless. <clears throat> and Camille, the, 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 the thing is that Camille scales, right? But Pantheon doesn't really scale as well, so like even if he can like slightly win lane, Camille will still be so much more useful later on. I don't think I will survive that, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm very afraid that uh, I'm getting Ali start. Picking Kha'Zix 1-2 is also a bad idea, just because of this. You get into a position where you are playing against three tanky champions and one champion that has a fucking jump or whatever this is, and this is so, so hard to play. If they have like a one more squishy, you know, be jungle support, AD carry, like AD carry, their AD carry is actually not squishy, or even top lane, just one more squishy, but they have three tanks. So my champ is, I know, I mean, you can kind of clearly see like what my champ is good against, right? The Oriana is 3 and 9, but everyone else is, is just so much stronger than Oriana, you know? It's, they are just not squishy, basically. Not necessarily like stronger, stronger, but just not squishy. GG That was, uh, I mean that was, we tried you know I will honor Echo for being Echo I guess But yeah it's a shame my ID carry just disappeared during the game If my ID carry would not disappear maybe we could like still try to play it through But when ID carry dis loss mitigated, LP loss reduced by 5 Wait that's because we had a DC?